Hey everyone, so I know, whoa, these lips are a little crazy, but I just received a box from Maybelline and they had this beautiful coral lip color in there and I was so inspired. I am so sick of winter. I'm looking outside now and I'm so sick of seeing the bare trees and white snow. I was inspired today to wear a little bit more summery colors, like this little turquoise necklace and some coral lips. If you've watched me for a while, you know that like lips like this are not my thing, but I'm really feeling them today, so I don't know if I'd go out with them, but I'm having fun filming with them right now. I have been getting so many requests, especially from one girl. I feel like her name is Trisha, I'm so, or Trina, I'm sorry if I'm getting that wrong. I've been getting so many requests to do a jewelry collection video, and I don't know if it's just because of my Greek heritage or something, but I don't know about you, but when I was little, I got so much jewelry from my family every birthday. I spent most of my birthdays in Greece, so I'd be getting so much gold jewelry as a child. So doing my jewelry collection, I tried doing it, and it was just really overwhelming. So I decided to do my top 10 pieces of jewelry instead. I think there's 10. So I chose kind of my top 10 favorite pieces of jewelry. Some of them are sentimental, and then some of them are just like my current favorites. So I'm gonna start, okay, I'll start with this one. And if you guys have been, well, I mean, I, if you guys are my age around, maybe you'll remember these. But there are these charm bracelets. These are like pre-Pandora. One of my best friends, Nikki, she's gonna be laughing watching this because her and I were obsessed with these. So if you don't know what they are, they're just like these little things that you kind of bought different charms for. Charms like are individual and they just came like that. And I had so many of these. And I remember I would get so many charms at the party store and party mania. And then I got some in Greece. This is just a very sentimental piece to me. And it just reminds me of my childhood, which is always a good thing. And I mean, this is probably worth nothing. I don't even think this is real silver. It's like stainless steel, but it's just a special, um, a little bracelet. And Nikki's mom, Louise, love her. She actually got Nikki and I our first bracelets. And this was, the whole bracelet was this little green charm, like that. And I have one of the original charms on here, which is really, really special. I don't know where all the other ones went, but basically when you got a new charm, you take off one of the original charms so that it would fit. So I have an evil eye, have the original charm, I have a Greek flag, I have a clown because my great grandmother, who we called Grand Nan, loved clowns. And I have a love to shop thing, some things never change. I don't know where the rest of my charms are, I have so many of these bracelets, but this is just one of my favorite pieces of jewelry that just makes me smile, so this is why it's one of my favorites. The next thing is my Michael Kors watch. This is my newest watch, and I got it for Christmas from my ex-boyfriend. And I got a lot of questions on Tumblr, like, oh, are you still gonna wear the things that your boyfriend, ex-boyfriend got you? Uh, I mean, like, the the sentimental jewelry, I don't wear, but, like, the watches, I do. I mean, I got him lots of things, and I don't expect him not to use it. We ended it on good terms, so it's not, like, an, it's not awkward for me to wear it. But this is just my most recent and probably my favorite watch. It's silver and gold. Um, I just really love it. This is my favorite watch. I have three Michael Kors watches now. I love the big black Roman numerals. I love how it looks. I love that it's a little bit more masculine than my other watches. I don't know if you consider watches to be jewelry, but I do because I feel like they're accessories. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I'll check the time, but a lot of the time I just wear watches just because I think they're really nice and they add to an outfit. But this is definitely one of my favorite pieces of jewelry. The next one is a very, very, very special piece to me. One of my best friends, Nikki, actually just got this for me. I was cooking gumbo for her and one of my other... Um, really close friends Tristan and she came over and she's like I got you a surprise and she took out the Alex and Ani box and I had never really been into Alex and Ani it was never really my thing it was never really big here I didn't know really where to get it and I was never like compelled to get one but I love mermaids as you guys know I know a lot of people think I just like mermaids because Jesse James Decker loves mermaids no mermaids are really a symbol of my childhood and in my opinion a symbol of my friendship with Nikki and my sister I love mermaids ever since I was a little girl you can ask my dad you can ask my family we would spend all summer playing mermaids in the pool and Nikki will tell you I was bossy I was always Ariel she was always like coral Tony was always bubbles or something and we would spend the whole summer playing mermaids in the pool and I mean we still play mermaids in the pool it's just something that I love I still love I love how feminine mermaids are and actually at the bottom I didn't know this but it says that mermaids 
are a symbol of femininity, love, and mystery, which, I mean, maybe that's why I like them, but I've always loved mermaids, so when Nikki showed up with a little mermaid Alex and Ani bracelet, I was so touched. I don't know, it was just such a sweet, unexpected, thoughtful gift that meant a lot to me, so thank you, Nikki. I thanked her a lot, but it was so special to me, and it makes me smile every time I look at it. The only thing is, I have really, really, really small wrists. I thought that I'd be able to make it tighter, but it doesn't, so it just goes down there. But the next thing is a piece, probably my oldest piece of jewelry that I still love and wear. Uh, like I said, I got a lot of gold gifts from my family as a child. So this piece is from my Yaya, and as you guys know, my Yaya is everything to me. Sorry, my nails are a little uh, awful. I need to get them filled. I have a tattoo in honor of her, and um, she, and I guess my Papu got this for me when I was uh, around four or five years old. I'm not a very religious person, as many of you know, but this is um, a religious piece that I wear a lot, and I'm actually, it is a fairly big pendant. Um, like if you look, it's like about the size of a quarter. So when I go to Greece next time, which should be this summer, I'm planning on taking this with me and going to a jeweler there and seeing if they can make it into a pendant that is around um, the size of my evil eye necklace. But I'm gonna try and get it made so that it could be around this size so I can wear it layered together. If my house is burning down, knock on wood, and I can only save like one or two things, this would be one of them. Couldn't tell you where to get it, it's just a Virgin Mary charm, but. Yeah, it makes me smile whenever I see it, and uh, I mean, <laughs> when I'm in Greece, I pretend to be religious from her, I, we go to church, but uh, this is, like, I wear this when I fly, I wear this pretty much whenever I need the extra luck, I just feel like when she's with me, I feel safer, so this is what, this is probably my all-time favorite piece of jewelry. Now I'll talk about the evil eye piece, since I get so many questions about the evil eye that I always wear. I get a lot of questions on Instagram and YouTube videos. Two necklaces that I was wearing for a while was this evil eye necklace, and then a, a little gold like necklace I got from H&M, but that is so tarnished, so I had to take it off. It looked like copper, so <laughs> I decided that I needed to take it off. But this I got actually at TJ Maxx. It's by Devin Rose, and it is just this little um, evil eye necklace, and it's so delicate and so dainty, and I love it. I get so many questions about it. I'm a superstitious person. I'm not afraid to admit it, and I always have to be wearing something evil eye on me, and even not having it on right now makes me feel a little bit anxious. Speaking of evil eyes, I'll show you this evil eye ring that I was gifted by the jewelry company. I guess they knew my love of evil eyes, and it's by Majuri, and I'll post a link to this down below. But this is seriously the most beautiful, unique, evil eye ring. I see a lot of evil eye bracelets, a lot of evil eye necklaces, but never an evil eye ring, but it's basically on this little gold chain. I wear it on my ring finger because I'm not married or engaged, but, and I get so many compliments on it. It has a kind of like a mother of pearl face with a blue eye, and I just think it is a beautiful, beautiful piece. So um, I always have this on and I have a necklace on, so I feel pretty protected uh, from the evil eye. The next thing I'm going to talk about is my pieces of Tiffany jewelry. I have had Tiffany jewelry, well, my cousin Tiffany, uh, she is someone that I look up to, and when we were growing up, she was definitely like an older sister figure to me. And she started getting Tiffany jewelry, I mean, if your name was Tiffany, wouldn't you? And of course, when you're little, you want to be just like the people you look up to, so we ended up getting Tiffany jewelry. I do have a lot of Tiffany jewelry, but these are the two I wear on a daily basis, and I took them off because when I filmed a commercial, I needed to take off the other jewelry since it was a watch commercial, uh, and I haven't put it on yet, but I will, and this is just the original Tiffany & Co. Return to Tiffany bracelet with the lobster claw. I don't like toggle clasps. And then this is the silver bead bracelet, and I don't know if you can tell, but this did have a Tiffany's heart on it that said Return to Tiffany's, but I guess since it's so delicate and I didn't take it off, I guess stupidly, um, it fell off. This is just a little silver ball bracelet, which actually works out because I did like the silver balls for a while, so now I have silver balls minus a heart. But let me know in the comments down below if you think Tiffany would add or replace the heart because if they would, I'd go back. Oops. The next piece I'm going to talk about are my little gold hoop earrings. I'll zoom you in. These are my little gold hoops, and you won't believe where I got them from, but I actually got them from Wally World, Walmart. And these are just really, really fine. I'm not a huge fan of earrings. They really hurt me if I'm sleeping. Like, I can't wear studs because it digs into my ear. But they're really, really fine. But I just really like these fine gold hoops. 
right now. And then my last piece I just want to talk about is my class ring from high school. I loved high school. I had a really good high school experience, thankfully. And this was my class ring. I don't wear it just because it's not really my style, but I'm really happy I have it. Um, there's a little Kodiaks thing on the side because my school, our mascot was the Kodiaks, and then it says like this, my school name. I have a Peridot, Peridot Middle because that's my birthstone. I am an August 4th baby. Uh, class of 2012, that's the year I graduated. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that everyone who requested a jewelry video was pleased with this video. And let me know what your all-time favorite piece of jewelry is in the comments down below. I'm definitely interested in hearing about that, and I'll talk to you soon.